Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another React Native tutorial. In today's video, I'll be taking you through creating a custom tab navigation using React Navigation. So here's an example of the bottom tab navigation we'll be building out in today's tutorial. I've already set up my React Native project, so let's first get started by adding React Navigation to our project. So head over to the reactnavigation.org website and then head over to the docs section and then under getting started we'll just follow the steps to install this package. And then once the first package is done installing we'll also need to add these dependencies. So we'll just scroll down and then install React Native screens and React Native safe uh, area context. So I'm currently running an iOS app, so I'll need to run this command as well. Then I'll just select read from disk here. And that should be good for now. The next thing we need to do is add bottom tabs navigation. So just scroll down on the side here, come under guides, tab navigation, and then we're gonna have to add this uh, package as well. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And then once that is done, we'll just build our application and run it once more. And then once the build is successful, I'll go ahead and run the application on my uh, emulator. And then we can head into our VS Code to create our screens. So I'll just head to, I'll head back here uh, to the documentation and then I'll just copy uh, these sections here. So navigation container and create bottom tab navigator. I'll copy those two lines. And then I'll just get rid of the default React Native screen. And let me just switch my theme on my device here. So I'll just head to settings and scroll down to developer and then just uh, switch back to light theme so that I can see what's happening. Okay, so we have our hello world text. Now, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'll just copy this home screen, setting screen, functions, so I'll copy those two and I'll add them there. I'll keep the styling as it is. Then I'll also copy that uh, to create my bottom tab. And then lastly, uh, let's go ahead and copy this section. So now what we should have, if I head back into my application, we should have like these two tabs here. So the settings page and the home uh, home page. And we have these two tabs, so home and settings. Uh, let's perhaps create another screen here. And we'll just call this uh, add post screen. Okay, there we go. So we have three screens there. So we have home, post, and settings. 
So first, uh, let's maybe install some uh, icons and we'll get these from React Native uh, Vector Icons. So just search for React Native Vector Icons and then head over to the NPM uh, site. Then we'll go ahead and add this to our project. Then for iOS installation steps, we'll just click on uh, the iOS link here. So I'm going to skip the manual option and then scroll down to the uh, React Native link. I'll just copy this command here. And just add npx before that. There we go. So we should be good. The next thing we can do is go ahead and customize uh, the look and feel here. So let's uh, pick out some of the icons that we need for the home post and setting screen. So for that, I'll just head back to tab navigation. Then we'll import ion icons from React Native Vector icons. And then we'll copy this section here for adding our icon. So the screen options, just copy that whole bit. And this will go in tab.navigator. So here. And let's see what we got. Uh, let's just run Metro once more, npm start. And reload. Okay, so we have an error here. Let's see, what did we skip? Let's maybe try running port install to see if that will resolve the issue. Okay, so just run pod install after that, and then we'll just read uh, from disk once more and build our application and run it again. And then once the build is successful, let's go ahead and run the app once more. So we have our icons appearing, so let's go ahead and change these. And then for the add post screen, I'll use the iOS add uh, circle icon. So let's see how that looks in our application. So we have our home tab, post, and settings. Uh, let's just fix that. So we'll just keep the same icons. And then for my tab bar active tint color here, I'll set a shade of orange. So I already have the hex code for that. There we go. And then from here, let's add another property called tab bar style which will allow us to customize the look uh, of our bottom tab. So this will be an array, and then we'll have our, our styling object in here. So I'll create my styles in here. Uh, let me create an object called tab bar style. And then I'll just pass that along. So I'll just call styles dot tab bar style. So this shouldn't change anything yet because we haven't added any uh, styling in here. So to give you an example, if I add something here, let's say background color, for example, this should change the background of our bottom tab navigation. So there you go. And then uh, let's just remove that for now. So what I want to do, uh, firstly, let's maybe uh, add some spacing on the uh, left, right and bottom of our tab. So to do that, I'll just say left 10. And then right as well, at 10. And then bottom, let's say 20. And 
let's just give it a position absolute Okay, there we go. So as you can see, we have some spacing on the left and the right and the bottom as well. And then let's just uh, round up the corners there. So we had a border radius of about, let's see, 15, I guess. Let's see how that looks. Okay, there we go. And then what I also want to do is remove the titles here so that I just have the icons instead. And to do that, we'll just come back uh, up here. And then we'll add another property here called tab bar show label. And we'll set that to false. And that should remove the uh, uh, labels there. And then I'll just increase the size of my icons maybe to, let's say, let's say 35. Okay, it's slightly too big, maybe 25. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we'll just make it 30. Well, there we go. Uh, let me just head back here. So maybe we make these two icons smaller and the middle icon bigger. So let's just uh, keep size there. And then if the icon is a uh, circle, we'll set the size here to about 35. So this will make the middle icon bigger. Uh, and then for the settings page, let's perhaps use a profile icon like in the uh, screenshot here. So I'll just search for person. Then I'll use the iOS person, which should be somewhere here. Let me just find it. Ah, oh, there it is. And there we go. And maybe we can increase the size of the middle uh, icon. Let's make it 40. Okay. And maybe just uh, raise our tab uh, a bit higher. So uh, make bottom maybe 30. It's much better. And then lastly, maybe we can bring our icons uh, slightly lower so that everything is a bit centered. To do that, I'll just apply some styling to my icon here. So I'll just say style. And then I'll just say top uh, 10. And there we go. So as you can see, we have a custom tab bar navigation. Uh, just like in the screenshot, maybe uh, we could adjust the width a little bit more. But yeah, uh, so far so good. Uh, let's maybe increase the left and right margins. And our border radius, maybe we can also increase that to 50. Let's see how that looks. Uh, too rounded. Let's make it 30. Still to round it, maybe K20 should be fine. And then there's a border here at the top. To remove that, I'll just add border, border top width, set that to zero, and it should fix that. Yeah, and uh, there you have it. We've customized our bottom tab navigation. You can also read through the docs for more info on how to further customize your navigation. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Cheers.